Hello everyone! Today I wanted to talk about all the recent weird and random news coming out of Nintendo lately, and try to figure out if there's more to it than meets the eye. We've had an alarm clock, a mysterious new online test, as well as the Mario & Luigi Brothership overview trailer and previews. All these things dropped in a 24 hour period, which can't help but make me a little suspicious that they're clearing the way for more big news soon. But before we get deep into it, let's recap the order of events. On the morning of October 9th, Nintendo announced Nintendo Alarmo, a new motion sensing alarm clock. It's a quirky little item that still feels like a very Nintendo-like side project. One interesting detail is it's only sold limited quantities to NSO subscribers on my Nintendo store until January, so it's not widely available for a few months. The funny thing is it was easy to assume that was Nintendo's main news of the week, but only a few hours later I think we actually got the real most important news in the form of an announcement for something called the Nintendo Switch Online Playtest Program. Nintendo refers to it as a test for a new feature for Nintendo Switch Online for the Nintendo Switch system. To apply for the test, you needed an active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership, and you will need to download exclusive software to your Switch to participate. Nintendo only accepted 10,000 participants, and you had to have an account in Japan, the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Italy, or Spain. Now I know some people were reacting to this news live, but I'm recording this video after signups were closed. Nintendo listed a 5 day period for signups, but said they would close after they reached 10k, and I saw people post that they refreshed the page and tried to sign up the moment you could at 8am pacific, and they were told they didn't make it. Personally, I actually was accepted into the test. I clicked apply right away, and it says I was selected, so that's cool. Now. With all that being said, what I think is interesting isn't that they're doing an online test for something. They did do an online test for Switch Sports before that came out, and of course Splatoon has had online test fires as well. But what is more interesting is the fact that Nintendo announced the test and had people sign up without them knowing what it is. If you signed up to those the games, you knew what you were getting into, but here people had to apply without knowing if it was something they personally even cared about, which is very odd. And something else I want to focus on and analyze in this video is the timing of this test. As Nintendo has given us dates for when the software can be downloaded, when the test starts, and when it ends, and they're all pretty damn interesting. First off, for people who are selected, they say to return to the page when, where you were accepted on October 20th to get the download code for the software and to learn how to participate. A fun factoid is that October 20th is the same day the Switch was revealed in 2016, so it's the 8 year anniversary on that date. Now no, I'm not expecting a Switch to reveal on the 20th, as it falls on a Sunday in North America and Nintendo usually does big news in the middle of the week, but I want you to keep that date in your mind as it will be important later. The other key dates related to this test are Wednesday October 23rd and Tuesday November 5th. Now let's tackle both of these dates because they're potentially hugely important. First off, October 23rd is a Wednesday, which is very common for big news days from Nintendo. Hell, the announcement of this test was on a Wednesday as well, as the Alarmo reveal. Also, Nintendo fans who follow Nintendo Direct News know Wednesday is very common for either the day of a Direct or the announcement of a Direct for the following day. Then, the other big date is November 5th. Do you know what November 5th is? It's Nintendo's 6 month earnings release. We usually get an interesting quote or two each time Nintendo has an investor meeting, and I do think the timing of this test is suspicious. A lot of people believe that if Nintendo does reveal a Switch 2 this year, it'll be before that earnings release, and I agree. Nintendo has nothing dated except Donkey Kong Country Returns HD in January, so they don't really have much on the books to make investors excited. So if they do decide to reveal Switch 2 this year, doing it before that investors meeting seems guaranteed. In fact, we have great supporting evidence of that, because in 2016, Nintendo's 6 month earnings release was on October 26th. And if you've been following along with this video, you'll remember that the OG Switch was revealed on October 20th, 2016. So they revealed it the week before the meeting. Basically, I think it's fair to say, if we see the Switch 2 this year, it's before that investor meeting. And if we don't see it before that meeting, Nintendo must be waiting until January 2025 for the reveal. So, 
To recap our discussion of the dates, this mysterious test that oddly Nintendo had people sign up for without telling them what it was starts on the 23rd, a Wednesday, and it begins later in the day at 6 p.m. Pacific after any potential news would already be announced. The test then runs until November 5th, the same day of their earnings release, which is basically the cutoff date for Switch 2 news this year. And funny enough, the day people get to download the software for the test is the 20th the eight year anniversary of the Switch reveal. So yeah, it's impossible not to be suspicious that something could go down this month. But with all that being said, you might be thinking, so what? And I don't blame you. We know that this test is for a new NSO feature that is available for the Switch 1. So does it have to mean something for the Switch 2? Well, yes and no. First off, obviously, any feature added to NSO this late in the generation will carry over to Switch 2 so it at least matters a little bit for the successor. But this is still a test for the regular Switch, so it's not like this confirms we're getting Switch 2 news or anything like that. But still, I want to focus on another aspect of this, and it's that we don't know what we're testing. I could possibly be wrong about this, but I am extremely confident that whatever this new feature is, Nintendo will reveal it publicly before the test begins on the 23rd. I do not think Nintendo would ever trust 10,000 randos to keep quiet on a new feature, especially when they advertise signups publicly. They know people will be asking questions, and they know someone will rush to Reddit and post about it. Personally, if Nintendo did make people agree to keep quiet, I would. I know better than to get the Nintendo Ninjas after you. But there's no way everyone would, and Nintendo is going to be prepared for that. So this goes back to that date, October 23rd. As I pointed out, the test starts at 6 p.m. Pacific, which is pretty late in the day in North America. Normally, Nintendo has things like Nintendo Directs at 7 a.m. Pacific or sometimes 2 p.m. Basically, I think Nintendo is starting the test later in the day of their normal big news day of the week, so they have time to announce something earlier on that day. So I'm going to straight up predict that we'll get a public announcement of this new feature before 6 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday the 23rd. So with that being said, what is this feature? Well, it's hard to say. Some people have speculated that it's GameCube coming to NSO, which is very possible and would be exciting. But I'm honestly surprised they would publicly test that since they've never bothered with testing old platforms before, and it seems like they could do that in-house. It was described as a new feature, so I've seen the suggestion that it could be some kind of new online functionality, ranging anywhere from dedicated servers, return of a traditional Wii-style activity log, like Alarmo was getting, some sort of online lobby like the Animal Crossing Plaza they tried on Wii U, or even some sort of achievement system. The thing that's weird about most suggestions is that this feature is for NSO subscribers, so things like achievements and activity logs don't make sense because they likely wouldn't be behind a paywall, or at least they shouldn't be. Also, Nintendo needs people to download software, and I've heard it's 2.2 gigabytes. A lot of these things don't seem like they would be their own software, instead these suggestions seem like operating system features. Basically, right now, we don't know, but if we want to continue to be suspicious and try to tie this into Switch 2 reveal speculation, there are some interesting ideas I've had. I've seen a lot of people suggest game streaming, and I do think it's possible. But why test that now? Well, Nintendo lets companies sell cloud versions of games on the eShop, but let's be honest, most people don't like or want them. Up to this point, though, the cloud games have been third-party like Control or the Kingdom Hearts Collection, for example. Perhaps Nintendo does want to start offering game streaming of first-party titles in preparation for Switch 2. Basically, let people on Switch 1 have the option to buy Switch 2 games and stream them even if they don't have the hardware. This allows any game that's not cross-gen to still potentially be sold to someone who hasn't secured a Switch 2 right away. And the moment you do acquire a Switch 2, your collection already has some games, as those games you bought and streamed could then be played natively on your new Switch 2 console. I think this idea has some potential if Nintendo is afraid of starting over and leaving behind that big Switch install base, but quite frankly I don't think many would care about this feature still. Most people aren't interested in buying a game just to get an inferior experience streaming it, so while this could be what the feature is, I don't think most people would be that excited. It also doesn't fully add up as people are going to download something that's 2.2 gigabytes, and if you're streaming it doesn't make sense why you'd have to download something that size. For instance, looking at what local files are required to stream games currently on Switch 1, they're extremely small. Control is 101 megabytes, Hitman 3 is 82, and Resident Evil 2 is 101 megabytes as well. So again, cloud versions of games might be what it is, but there's reasons to doubt it in my opinion. 
we could also go back to some of the things I listed earlier that sounded like OS level features and not games such as an online hub. I do think it's possible that what people could be downloading is something that's baked into the Switch 2 OS, but on Switch 1 it's accessed in a separate 2.2 GB app. Remember, the Switch OS is very bare bones intentionally to keep the demands on the hardware low. Maybe Nintendo was adding something to Switch 2 that they want Switch 1 players to be able to access as well. There are simpler ideas, of course. I could potentially see this being just a straight up new NSO exclusive game like F-099. Now, whenever they released those kinds of games before, they did not test them beforehand. But maybe something about this new game really could use it. Who knows? Regardless of what it is, I really think it's strange that they had signups without announcing what it was beforehand. That makes it incredibly interesting, and I can't help but speculate. If it's a single game, what if the 10k you got aren't a great fit for the kind of game you're testing, and wouldn't have signed up fit if they knew what it was beforehand, you know? To me that says whatever it is, it's something that Nintendo believes any of their fans would spend time with, and be happy to test, and that makes me think it's something exciting. Now, with all that said, I want to reinforce that I strongly believe Nintendo will announce what this is before the test starts. If it is, let's say, GameCube for NSO, I absolutely expect them to have either a dedicated reveal video or mention it in some sort of Nintendo Direct or some sort of live presentation. And that goes for anything. I really feel confident we're getting some sort of announcement soon, whether it's Switch 2 related or not. Keep in mind, Nintendo did that very weird Partner Direct plus Indie World Showcase instead of their normal general Nintendo Direct. That led many people to think they were clearing the way for a potential Switch 2 reveal, because again, they don't have much on the books for Switch 1. So if they skipped a normal Direct and combined two things together, it made sense. And now we got Alarmo, this mysterious test, and Mario & Luigi previews within a 24 hour period, and we have all these significant dates coming up, like the Nintendo earnings release and the test start and end dates, do seem aligned with it. I'm not saying we're definitely getting the Switch 2 revealed before that November 5th earnings date and the test is related to it, but there's definitely a lot of weird coincidences that I felt like were worth discussing. And I think it makes sense to look at this stuff right now because once we get to that November 5th investor meeting, we'll either have seen the Switch 2 or I believe we can pack it in until 2025. So anything that happens in the next month is going to be amplified. Also I'd like to again point out that this test and Nintendo having a lot of news close together doesn't have to tie into Switch 2, but regardless, I stand by saying Nintendo will reveal whatever this test is before the test begins, so I do expect news of significance no matter what very soon. And for now, that's all the speculation I got in me. If you have any thoughts or theories as to what this test is about, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking the video and subscribing, as this is a small channel, so every little bit of support really goes a long way towards YouTube letting at least some people see my videos. Anyways, that's all for now, and we'll see you next time.